With the latest updates to XE Unshackle and FreeMyZ, we no longer need to patch and unlock our files. So this means we can now use the Xbox 360 Homebrew Store. So let me show you how. Hi and welcome to Bytes and Bits. If you've been setting up your Xbox 360 with the bad update exploit, you'll know that the process of adding homebrew apps and games can be a bit tedious with having to patch and unlock app and game files. And this means that you need to download files to your PC, run Windows apps to unlock them, and then use your USB drive to put the files back onto the console. But the latest version of XE Unshackle and also FreeMyZ, um, they have got round this patching process, so you no longer need to do that. Now, this means that we can now use the Xbox 360 Homebrew Store to simply browse and download apps and, more importantly, emulators directly onto our machines. So, let's get this set up. Now, XE Unshackle is an upgraded payload for the bad update exploit, and it has a number of improvements over FreeMyZ, which in my opinion makes it a better choice. And that's what I was using when I did my setup video. Now, if you are running FreeMyZ, then there really isn't an issue continuing with that, and you can repeat the installation process to update that to its latest version. But if you want to swap to XE Unshackle, or you want to upgrade your current version, um, then please do follow this next step. So XE Unshackle is available for download from this GitHub repository, and you simply need to go to the latest releases section and then download the archive file. So once that's downloaded, just extract the files, and you should end up with a set of files and folders like this. And this is the package that we now need to put onto our USB drive. So all we need to do is copy this whole set of files and folders, and then copy that then onto the root of your bad update USB drive. Now it is going to prompt you about overwriting some files, but just go ahead and let it do that. And all of a sudden then, you're now updated to the latest XE Unshackle version. So let's jump onto the console, activate bad update, and then we'll check out this homebrew store. The easiest way to install the homebrew store is to actually do it from the Aurora dashboard. Um, so again, you will of course have to install Aurora, um, but again, most of us tend to do that once we hack the Xbox. So this will need a live internet connection. So I know the advice is to keep your internet connection turned off when you're running the bad update mod. So we do need to go out and turn that on. So I'm going to press my guide button and that will take me out to our Xbox guide. And we need to move across and select our system settings. Uh, and yes, we want to exit. So once that comes up, we need to go down to our network settings. And inside there, we will need to select and connect to either our wired um, network through Ethernet, or you'll need to connect to one of your wireless networks. And again, if, if we are connecting to one of these networks, if we go through and do a network test, so if I come down here uh, and do my um, test my network, um, of course, it is going to fail on a number of points. So again, we should be able to get a network connection, but of course, our bad update um, if I just come out of that whole second. But our bad update, of course, will not allow the Xbox to connect to the Xbox Live services. So although it's saying here that the internet has failed, we are actually connected to your network. So let, let's come back out of this and get back to our um, Aurora desktop. So again, we'll need to come across to our games on here. We'll then need to go back through our XEX menu. We need to log back into our bad update profile, go across to our apps folder, and again, back on a normal way and rerun our Aurora desktop. So we're now in uh, the Aurora dashboard and we are connected to the our, our network. So we need to come into the settings screen of our, or the system screen, sorry, of our Aurora dashboard. So that is with the back button. And we want to go to our scripts. 
So these are a number of sort of scripts that run within Aurora that do various jobs for us. So we need to download some of those scripts from the Aurora repo browser. Um, our, our utility scripts then will contain a number of things and uh, that we can add then to our console. And of course, one of those then is the homebrew store. So if I select that to install it, and again, yes, we want to install this script. So that should now have our homebrew store installed into our Aurora dashboard. So if I come back out of here, um, so the way we run that then is if I come back out and get back to our uh, main menu again, so again, to run our homebrew store, we again need to go into our system menu. We need to go to our scripts. And now we should find that one of the scripts that we have installed is our homebrew store. So if I select that, we should now run into the homebrew store. Now there is also an option to install the homebrew store without going online. And again, the whole point of the homebrew store is that we will need to go online with our bad update Xbox. Um, so if, if you're not able to do that, um, then there really isn't a point in installing the homebrew store. But if you do want to do it that route, um, you can just simply download the script files from this website here. And again, I've covered this in my main RGH3 installation video. Um, but in that instance, the folder that you create for your homebrew scripts, you will need to save those onto your bad update USB drive inside your Aurora app area. And again, inside there, you'll find then the scripts and the utility folder, and then you just simply save your homebrew scripts in there. But again, as I say, um, you, you really do need to be able to get online with your bad update Xbox, otherwise home, the homebrew store isn't actually going to work for you anyway. So now that we've got our homebrew store installed, installing our homebrew apps becomes just a simple matter of browsing through and selecting what we want. Now, of course, all of this does rely on us having the latest versions of FreeMyZ, or as I'm running here, XE Unshackle. Um, so the need to patch the homebrew apps is no longer um, required. So as soon as we download the app from the homebrew store, that will install a runnable, in bad update at least, um, version of the app. So do make sure that you have updated to those. So let's have a look and see what's inside the homebrew game section here. So again, our, our system, because it's online, it will go and get a list of the latest apps that we can install. And if we have a look down here, you can see there's a whole range of these homebrew games. So let's have a look at this Pac-Man Colors. So if I select that with my A button, we first of all get a block of information about this app. Uh, again, telling us what's happening. But the really important part here is the path. So as you can see, the Homebrew Store is going to install these apps onto our hard drive into various folders. So this one's going to be go installed into a folder called Homebrew, and then of course the actual app folder itself. Now it's important that we do make sure we look at these. Not all of the Homebrew apps will be installed into Homebrew. So if we install emulators, it will create a folder called emulators on our hard drive as well. Now, of course, um, Aurora needs to be scanning these folders to be able to pick up the applications. So I'm going to go ahead and install this one then. So if I say yes to that, that will then download the app and physically install it then onto our hard drive ready for us to use it. So there we have our Pac-Man Colors game installed. So if we come back out of our menu here, and we can then say that um, we need to restart, reload Aurora, We now need to make sure that Aurora is scanning that folder for us. So again, we're going to go into our settings this time, and we're going to come down to content. And then you can see at the moment, I'm only scanning two folders on my system. So we need to go across and add a path. And we're going to select the location for that path. So remember, it was storing it on our hard disk drive in the folder called Homebrew. So we need to make sure that we add this um, folder to our path. So I'm going to highlight it and then select it with the Y button. I'm then going to set my depth of scanning here to three. And then I'm going to come down here and save that path. So we now have our hard drive homebrew path um, set on our Aurora. 
So if we come across and we can then scan that now to log those apps. So we can now come back out to our main menu and hopefully we should now have Pac-Man colors sitting there. Uh, now again, not all of these will have um, cover art associated with them, but the app should still be should actually be there. So if I select that, we will hopefully have a Pac-Man game to play. So there we have our Homebrew app all up and running and installed, of course, using this Homebrew store. So you can really go off now and have a look through all of the other repositories. Um, again, um, the good thing about the Homebrew store is that people can actually produce their own repositories of games and apps and so on. So do have a look around to see what's available. So that really lets us now unlock the power of our homebrew on our bad update. And again, as you can see, we didn't have to worry about uh, patching up any of these applications. We can just go and browse and install them directly from that. And of course, that does then allow us access to the full range of emulators that are built for the homebrew systems in the Xbox. And that's really what I'm going to be working on to next in, in these videos. Um, so please do keep a lookout for that. Uh, and, and do make sure you um, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss those videos as I release them. So I hope you've enjoyed that. Um, please do subscribe and please do click that like button. I look forward to seeing you again in another video very soon. And bye for now. For more games programming, electronics projects, and retro gaming, please make sure you like this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and visit my website.